Hi, this is Dottie with Premium Websites and I'm here today to go over a really cool widget for WordPress that is called Image Widgets. An Image Widget allows for an easy way for somebody that doesn't know HTML to go ahead and put an image in their sidebar or any other area that is widgetized within your website. So let me show you where I'm using it on my website. It's on my FAQ page, it's this image right here. So let's go into my back office and we'll take a look at that. Now this is a plugin. that is installed through the plugins area of your WordPress website and it is called Image Widget. And you can get that plugin just by going to Add New, finding it and installing the plugin on your site. Once you have it installed and you go into your widgets area, you will see that it is available now to be used. Now I'm using it currently as I said in my right sidebar and it's only on one page. So let me show you how this works. Uh, before this widget if you had wanted to have a picture in your sidebar or any widgetized area you would have to use a text widget which is simply a place to put code. And what that would do is you would have to know the um, code for the widget, I mean the code for your image in HTML, how to call it from where it's stored and all that stuff, which for me is no problem, but for the average person it's, it's kind of a challenge to get an image into your widget area. So what this does is it gives you an upload interface and just kind of a form thing to fill out. So let me show you how it works on a new one. So I'll just come over here and I'll grab the image widget and I'll drag it over. Okay, and you'll see it pops up with a blank form to fill out. So I'm going to click this link that says add image and we'll get a browse box. You can either add it from your site if you already have it on your website or you can find it on your computer. So I'll be right back after finding an image. So it will upload the image and you'll get this interface right here and you can go ahead and put a title on it. And for images your title is what shows up when someone hovers over your image on your live site and you get the little box that pops up with a sentence or some words in it, that's your title. And the alternate text is what shows up for the search engines. So that's what the search engines are going to recognize for this image because it can't actually read the image itself. It's also what shows up if for some reason the image doesn't load and you get the little red X, this text is what's going to go next to it and it's also for text readers and it makes your site um, accessible and compliant. So you want to make sure to fill that out every time. Description you can put in if you want. I currently don't want it to link anywhere. We'll leave it centered and my sidebar is not 300 pixels wide so I'm going to go ahead and click thumbnail and then insert into, into widget. Now it automatically puts the title in right here. If you don't want that to show on your website, this would like this is the title here for this one. Here's the title for that one. But you can see this one doesn't have a title. So that's the way I'm going to do this next one. So I'm going to take that title out and so it won't show on the site. If you have a caption you want to put in, go ahead and put it here. Here's your link. If you are linking somewhere, you can choose to stay in this window, which would be if you're linking within your own site. If you're linking to an outside site, then you want to open it in a new window. Here's your image size, your alignment, the alternate text, and widget logic. This is a different plugin that allows for 
having things show up in a specific page in a specific spot but then not on other pages I'm not gonna go ahead and use it this time so I'm gonna go ahead and save I'm gonna close this down okay now I want this image to be above the one that's already there so I'm just gonna drag it up and now let's go to our site and let's refresh our page and there it is so that's how simple it is to put another image into a sidebar. You no longer need to have to know HTML in order to do that. And since I really don't want it there, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take it out. Just simply drag it away. And let's go back and refresh. And now it's gone. So this has been Dottie with premium websites with a tip on WordPress on how to get images into your sidebar.